I just want to give a summary of, of what we've seen for everyone watching because it's we've covered a lot. So Max Frost in Florida, first Gen Z member going to Congress, strong progressive. That's a really huge win. It's going to be a likely win for Bowman from what we're seeing here. That race hasn't been called yet. Gates won running against whistleblower Rebecca Jones, who called out the DeSantis administration for skewing with the COVID data there. Nadler won against Carolyn Maloney. Unfortunately, Sean Patrick Maloney also won, and we've got Uline close. We're not sure how that's going to shake out, though. Yeah, and that's the race we've been um, talking about the most. Daniel Goldman, the conservative Democrat with a lot more money, uh, up against three progressives. Uh, New, who's at second place right now, uh, Mondaire Jones in third, and Carlina Rivera in fourth. Uh, so. Um, that one is the tightest by far, around a point for a long time now. Uh, so it's not clear who's going to win at the end. Every other race is relatively clear. Uh, the money man, uh, the bag man, if you will, for the Democrats, Sean Patrick Maloney, uh, pushes out Mondaire Joes from his own district. Wins that district, beats a progressive Biagi in it. Now Mondaire Jones has lost in the new district he tried to run in. So unless New pulls it out, um, Sean Patrick Maloney and presumably Speaker Pelosi's design to push out another progressive from Congress has worked. Uh, and understand that corporate Democrats and Democratic leadership are not your friends. And so they just cost Mondaire Jones his seat. Uh, and I guarantee you that Mondaire Jones believed that he was that they were his allies up until the blade entered his back. Okay. And so um, I've said it a thousand times, I'm the bad guy for saying it, but you gotta know it. Uh, corporate Democrats are not our allies, they're our opponents. And, they do and not I not agree with us. Yeah, and I know that there are gonna be some people that I think are upset at Mondaire Jones because if he hadn't run, I think Yulene, I mean, we don't know yet, but it seems like Yulene knew is not gonna win. Um, I think she would have won. But I think we have to understand that this was by design. They wanted progressives to infight. The initial plan was hoping that Mondaire Jones and Jamal Bowman would be fighting it out in the district that Jamal Bowman ended up you know, likely winning as of now. But, and Mondaire backed out of that because he didn't wanna be incumbent versus incumbent. So he decided to run in New York 10 where it was a bit of a more open field. And I think he had some success and there was, uh, I, I don't know what his in, internal calculations were, but unfortunately it made all the difference and it looks like Dan Goldman's gonna win this. And I just, I think there are, are no villains in this case, Rivera, Mondaire, certainly uh, Yulene. None of those are villains except for Dan Goldman and the Democratic establishment and Sean Patrick Maloney who created the situation. Um, and they wanted there to be chaos and they wanted there to be progressive infighting. And that's what they got. And so um, I hope Yulene New runs again because with a less crowded field, wow, she could do a lot of damage. Um, she's a really strong candidate. By the way, uh, the reporting on that race continues to be maddening. The lead is down 1.6 for Goldman, but on the other hand, it's back down to 90% reporting. So yeah. the reporting has been inaccurate all night. Uh, so don't count out new yet. If she pulls off that victory, it'll be stunning, it'll be amazing. Uh, by the way, she had the lead uh, and Goldman spent, I think, Four million dollars in the last couple of weeks. He's the heir to the Levi Strauss fortune, so he just spent that uh, Levi money, and uh, and he got the the backing of New York Times in a controversial way because he's family friends with Sulzberger, who's the publisher of the New York Times. That makes a huge difference in New York, as we've talked about all night. So every piece of corruption came in favor of Daniel Goldman, and he's still barely hanging on against. Three progressives who are splitting the vote. So if he does wind up winning, he better not get comfortable in that seat. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get 
playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.